A few years ago, uh, debate bro, Steve Crowder, dodged a debate at Politicon with Sam Cedar. In fact, uh, his papa had to intervene and let the organizers over at Politicon know that Sam Cedar and his son absolutely cannot debate. Uh, he would be bodied by Sam Cedar and it would be embarrassing. And so ever since Crowder has been running away from a debate with Sam Cedar, it's been fun to watch. That's how he was dubbed Cold Feet Crowder, lots of fun. And then Crowder made the mistake of engaging in a tiff with the hosts over at H3. Now H3 is a YouTube channel that is not political. Their content is different from what we do, different from what Sam Cedar does. But they noticed that Steven Crowder loves to do and say offensive things, obviously He's done and said racist things, transphobic things. We all know this, which is why I mostly just ignore him because it's all part of his performance, right? His performance art. He says terrible things, he breaks YouTube guidelines, his videos get demonetized, and then he cries and whines about it because he thinks he's being censored. Now, with that said, um, H3 was pretty disgusted with his content. They also noticed that he was spreading disinformation about coronavirus, which is. Honestly, what the right wing does overall. And so Crowder, knowing that the H3 hosts are not super political, starts, you know, saying that he wants to get into a debate. Now, before that happens, I want to go to this first video because Dan from H3 specifically called Crowder out on the fact that he dodged Sam Cedar. Let's watch. Dan had this one moment that actually went a little bit viral in the political community that Stephen notably ignored during our tit for tat. I'll play it for you here. And this is where that I'm leading to. A lot of people, but just because I feel like there's a decent chance Stephen Crowder will see this and this will be the only time that I get to say this. Debate <laughs> Sam Cedar, dude. Stop being such a. <laughs> <laughs> I know that your dad doesn't want you to. Uh, and. You know, but that was a long time ago. That was three. You're you're three years older now. It's time. It's time to debate Sam. So Ethan Klein, one of the hosts over at H3, agrees to a debate with Crowder, right? Because they clearly disagree with each other, and he's like, "Sure, I'll get into this debate." But Klein isn't a political person. He doesn't he doesn't do this, right? He's not spending his entire day like researching political news stories and issues and all that. Um, but he knew about this whole Crowder versus Sam Cedar thing. He knew about Crowder running away. And so they set things up for this debate. Klein agrees to debate Crowder. And then this happens. Ethan, thank, thanks man for making the time. You're very welcome. And I just want to say, I know you called me, you said that I would be a layup. <laughs> which I, I is think fine, something which is like fine. That. and yeah, I think yeah, you're yeah. right because I don't think I'm a very good debater. I think you know that. So uh, I don't want to make it too easy for you. Oh, okay. So uh, I've prepared. Okay. Yes. All right. So, so Dan, what we were going to talk ready. about is uh, what we were going to talk about is you know the initial quote that happened. I think he's looking off there. Uh, the initial quote that kind of was turned into. Um, a little bit of a meme, which wasn't intentional. And was you saying you don't even have to think about it regarding the CDC. Hmm. And I disagree with that. I think people should think about it, I believe. And we just talked about this through playful ribbing in an aggregation of medical authorities and scientific voices to make an informed and rational decision. So where do you think that, I was, that I'm wrong on that? Steven, do you know that um, the Spartans are that they are like uh, practice man love with children. Oh, geez. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. I to, what did I tell you? He was going to do anything he could to avoid. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh no, Sam Cedar. What a whoa, what a nightmare. You, I had no idea this was going to happen. All right, so I think it's important to replay um, critical moments from that last clip. Let's go to the next clip because I really want you guys to soak this in and understand what's happening here. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Sam Cedar, what a, whoa, what a nightmare. You, and just one more clip from that moment. I thought, I thought Ethan was a stand up guy. 
This is oh, where we are. Wow. Yeah, I told Dave, Dave, remember I told you? I told you. I said, this is, I guarantee you, he's going to do anything he can to avoid the debate. Well, I just think he believes that he should debate you. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. He just takes advantage of, of women with, you know, mental health Steven, issues. He's inclined you know, to I, stand up and do to his own fighting. I gotta say, I it's just hilarious. Let's bring on FM. You would uh, do anything to avoid talking to me. I think you're, the point that you made- Yes, that's Joe Rogan. Yeah, Joe Rogan and, Dave Rubin and, ben Rubin and, and Dave ben Rubin Shapiro. and Jordan Peterson and Noam Chomsky and Sam Harris. Everyone's been avoiding- and not just a test to get Peter. your audience by jumping in. <laughs> well, I, I debated <laughs> with uh, Charlie <laughs> Kirk. <laughs> Stephen, I mean, it's okay. about issues. Let's about talk issues, about those yeah. issues. Yeah. That's what you're doing here. valid yeah. points. You're so clever. I had no idea that you were taking your show off early Last time coming in today with your pig pen peanuts. I wish everything. <laughs> you take those off with a velvet really team button. We must have been Black very worried guys, about this, like Stephen. I don't know why. No it one's would be worried so about so it. Sam didn't want to well, do let's, it. Let's have Sam, a debate. Come on, no just, I'll worried, tell you what. I have a general. This. I have a general. This is a great opportunity. I don't start a debate to, based with people on a lie. And how about you get sabotaging? How about you get Stephen? Show yourself, you coward. Stephen, show yourself. Don't show your co-host. Ethan, you should show yourself. Excuse me. Ethan, Ethan, how can you, you respect yourself as a man, brother? Steven, so Steven, you are such a coward. Stop a showing your little leprechaun co-host who comes right, out dressed right. hey, like Ethan, your sidekick. <laughs> <on. laughs> Drop. Okay, okay. I got to give you one piece of context and then jank. Ah, I love the story. Okay. If you caught... Crowder say to Sam Cedar, you ended your show early. What he's referring to is how he's been constantly keeping tabs on Sam Cedar because he was afraid that this was gonna happen. Oh God, he's so <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so no, good. Okay. Oh, those big guns ain't gonna protect you from Sam Cedar, are they? Oh, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's wearing the holster. <laughs> he wears a gun. Yeah, to feel really big. Oh, he's a big tough I'm guy. Tough, he's uh, a big tough guy. Oh, uh, he's a so big tough guy. He's a big tough guy. Me, oh, change my mind. Change my mind. Oh, oh you, yeah. Uh, you're worried about Sam Cedar maybe changing your mind, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so change, change my diapers. Change my diapers. <laughs> uh, I gotta run. Beta. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh. okay, so now, guys, it, it, a lot of you that are familiar with this are having the time of your life. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this, you're going, what is like, what is going on here? Okay, so let me just break down real quick for you guys, the hilarious backstory. This Anna already explained to you what happened when he and Crowder ran from the original debate. But Crowder built his whole career on going and challenging people to debates. In fact, he would set up a little booth on college campuses and ambush rando college students, right? And he and he had to sign that said, change my mind, right? And and so now he claims he doesn't want to debate Sam Cedar because he doesn't have as many subscribers as he does, as, as Crowder does. Please, please. But, but, but wait, but wait did the co rando college student have as many subscribers as you? Okay, no. And, and uh, by the way, how did Crowder get famous in the first place? By uh, attacking us, okay, like almost every right winger. In fact, he dressed up as me. He dressed up as both of us several times. He loves playing dress up. He loves okay. playing dress up, which is okay. Yeah. No judgment in that regard. Yeah, God bless. Yeah. Have at it, Hoss. Have dress up in private, wherever you want. We, we're, we're open to it. Do you okay. Boo. Yeah, you like to hide. We're okay. You can come out. It's okay. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to tell you about his ambush of me, which I uh, found to be uh, amusing. Okay. Um, so this whole, I can't believe I was ambushed and then I had to have a debate with someone intelligent. Nobody told me this was coming. <laughs> okay, but but I love this. Uh, actually, John Idola tipped me off this. I love it. Daily Wire had a column about this, so they're a conservative uh, outlet, right? And I love they put the column as they're like opinion. Why was there any facts in the Daily Wire? <laughs> Do you have to label that opinion. Okay, fine, right? And then I love this. Okay, so. Uh, they're defending Crowder for running. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because that's what yeah. alpha male conservatives would do. Uh, remember, these are the guys, the whole thing is like, free speech, man, we need to have debate and free marketplace of ideas. Oh my God, there's an idea, run. Okay. So Daily Wire jumps in and they, uh, they here's the quotes. Also known as debate me bros, there are various online figures who often with nefarious intentions seek out debate uh, both online and in the real world. Like. 
What? Like Stephen Crowder, no, no. who would go in the real world, not only to like at South by against me, etc., would go to college campuses. Stephen Crowder is the original debate me, bro. This is a an opinion column yeah. in the Daily Wire. Yeah, yeah. You meaning Ben Shapiro's Daily Wire? The yeah. same Ben Shapiro who was doing the whole debate me, bro thing with AOC. Hundred percent. Oh, okay. oh, that guy. You're right. Yeah, and every right winger. Like, go back and look at all of their original videos. They're all like, why won't the Young Turks debate us? Why won't the Young Turks debate us? That's why Crowder had to show up in person to try to get, get some attention riding off my you know what. We have that video, you wanna go to yeah, that real quick? Yeah, I'm going to after this quote though, because I love the hypocrisy here and it's hilarious. The, the Daily Wire continues, the strategy itself is ingenious. Why? Because the right wing started it, right? <laughs> anyway, if the target of the debate accepts, then a low risk opportunity for notoriety is provided with, uh, which the debate me broke can promote their own ideologies, usually in front of an audience much larger than their own. That is exactly why they used to target the Young Turks all the time. And a lot of them still do because they're like, well, if we could just get in front of the Young Turks audience, maybe we could have an actual fans. Um, oh, watch us, they're not the only ones, by the way. If the, tar <laughs> if the target of the debate declines, then the debate me broke can claim hypothetical victory by repacking such refusals ideological cowardice on the part of their opponent. It's all on tape, you could see them doing that same exact tactic. So now for them to come around and go, oh, can you believe this ingenious tactic? I mean, we've, we just found out about it from Sam Cedar. We never knew about it before. Okay, now, if you're not sure who's right and who's wrong, now we can go to my tape. Yeah. So this is South by several years ago, one of the bigger conferences in the country, right, on digital media and other parts of the media. And I'm doing a panel, and and let's watch what happens. To go. Okay, so he that seems super talented, actually. Yeah, yeah really, really, <laughs> really funny. I mean, I could totally see why um, his dad is super embarrassed by him. Like, let's keep it real. Yeah, like okay. his dad needs to protect him from himself. Like, think about that. Yeah. His dad needed to intervene to ensure that his son didn't get bodied by Sam Cedar at a Politicon debate. No, but the the, uh, the hypocrisy of Crowder today saying that he wouldn't. Talk to Sam Cedar because he was ambushed. <laughs> you just saw the tape. He went and bought a ticket to a conference, which costs a lot of money. Yep. Full well knowing he's going to get kicked out once he does this stunt, right? That's how desperate he was to get a piece of our action, right? And then so he does that so-called ambush. And if you know, you see it right there with your own eyes. I, you know, in the beginning I was slightly amused by it. I was like, okay, so what? And I told people this is Stephen Crowder, mm -hmm. and he's trying to write off her. Uh, and so, and then, of course, what does Crowder do? He doesn't actually want to debate. He didn't let me talk at all. Mm -hmm. And and besides which, he wasn't on the panel, and it wasn't fair to the rest of the guys. Look, all of us are amused in the beginning, right? And then he sits down and he won't go, and he won't go, and finally they they have to escort him out, etc. Right? Yeah. Uh, but this guy claiming that he 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 just does not. It's just out of bounds to do an ambush. Out of bounds to have me actually discuss. An idea with someone way, way, way smarter than me, yeah. totally out of bounds. No, what I love about this, this whole thing, like what it does is it reveals how these right wingers are honestly, they're just scammers, right? They're nothing more than scammers. So, and it's not just Steven Crowder who would do it. I mean, you see it with some of the videos that Dave Rubin put up, that, that Ben Shapiro puts up. Like they'll do these appearances on college campuses and there'll be a student or two who wants to challenge them. Student will stand up and say like, hey, maybe don't be so disrespectful to transgender people who have no power. And then they immediately cut the mic and like start yelling at them. It's like, yeah, I won the debate, 
I want the debate. Ben Shapiro destroys transgender student. Like, same with, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. They're all over. They're like, YouTube is littered with those videos. But when it comes to actually debating someone who knows what he's talking about, someone like Sam Cedar, they run away, right? So as a result, I mean, their grift, it's unraveling. And so it's all hands on deck for conservatives in the media, right? That's why you have the Daily Wire publishing that. Papa Crowder had to make some calls because they need something to distract from that embarrassing moment. And so I think today, Donald Trump Jr. agreed to go on Crowder's show. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, it's so oh, it's sad, uh, so delicious. Oh, we have different news, don't, don't worry about it. Squirrel, squirrel, <laughs> don't okay. Leave. Don't Don Jr., leave. can you please come on? I'm in desperate straits. Mm. They caught me, they caught me, please come on. Could you imagine Don Jr. comes on, Sam Cedar jumps in. I, no, but I love, <laughs> I know. But I love that they think Donald Trump Jr. going on Crowder's show would somehow distract from that epic moment. And by the way, I just want to relive that epic moment one more time. Let's watch. Let's debate, uh, Stephen. Don't hide behind the glass. Don't, be a don't say Let's we'll debate, Ethan. You've lost the power. Debate, you'll debate. Right. debate the is issues. Sad. What this does is it the matter who you mean debate, coward? <laughs> All right, good. You guys <laughs> well, are good. Thank you. Coward. You won't even take off the glasses. Uh, I was right. All right, yeah, you, you can run away. You run away twice. Cold feet again. Come on, David. Wow. <laughs> wow, dude. He literally ran away yeah. again. I know. What's with shows that love attacking us that have like tiny little minions? Okay. I don't <laughs> like, why it's fine. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> we signed up for what we're doing. It's a public show and it's gonna come with some good things, bad things. I don't care. Yeah. No, nothing is gonna take away from how epic that was and how much I appreciated it. And I would argue that in terms of progressive media, that might be one of the best stories of all time. <laughs> it was super fun, it was super yeah. fun. No, no, but we need fun, like we need to post our W's, right? That was a W, a huge win. Um, thank you to Sam Cedar for delivering uh, for the progressive movement. And embarrassing Crowder, I mean, so thoroughly that I mean, can he ever really show his face in a debate context again? Yeah, and and so guys, the bottom line is the guys who told you that they care about the free marketplace of ideas and that's why they have to say all the racist, sexist, blah, blah, blah things that they say because they care so much about the marketplace of ideas. They wanna dial nine ideas to 11 or whatever the thing that <laughs> Ruben wanted to do, right? In the hot position. Yeah, to move it to the hot position of 11. <laughs> Okay, hot ideas. <laughs> Sam's here. Everybody run. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm not interested in ideas. Free mode from taking in so many high level important ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get. Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.